Let's graph the linear equation for y equals negative 2. So here's how we'll do it. Let's think of this as y equals, there's no x, so I'm just going to call that 0x minus 2. So it's the same thing, just now we have 0x to help us think about it. So if we say x is 0, 0 times 0, that's 0. y is going to be negative 2. If we say x is 3, these are just numbers I'm making up. 0 times 3 is 0, so y is negative 2. And any value we put in for x, we're multiplying that by 0, so we just get 0. And that means that y will be negative 2. So let's say negative 5. 0 times negative 5 is 0. y is negative 2. So these are the points we can graph for this linear equation, y equals negative x. So we have x is 0, y is negative 2. x is 0 y is negative 2. x is 3. y is negative 2. You can see all these points are going to be on this horizontal line here. x is negative 5. y is negative 2. So that's our line. Let's put a line through that, and then we can put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. That's the graph for y equals negative 2. Any points that we put in for x, that's going to give us a y value that's on this line right here. If you think about this in slope intercept form here, we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the negative 2, that's the y intercept. And then for the slope, since we have 0, we don't have a slope, it's just this horizontal line. So that's another way to think about this equation, y equals negative 2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.